Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Frambo. So, in the last episode, we fell down the hole as Satan popped up and went, Hey guys, I'm gonna knock you all guys off a cliff. And then we fell and now she's a tree and we're, we're playing tree. Mr. Midnight. No, we are a cat. She's a tree. We're no longer her. So let's go looking for that, uh... Fuck. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> okay. I wonder what we could do. Why is it anytime I step away? Maybe we could put something in the gears to, you know. Okay, like... Cassie, you are the worst person. Stop. I'm just trying to help with this one. I don't want help! <laughs> just watching you flounder around. Not for me to happening. look at something for 30 seconds? Wow, Cassie. I also love how the one guy's a carrot and the other guy is... A root. I don't know. Rutabaga, I think? I don't know. I thought Rutabaga's round. I don't know. He's some kind of rooted vegetable. Oh, I'll take this stone. It's shiny. <laughs> of course the cat picks up something shiny. Yeah, it's shiny. I've seen some more mechanics. They circulate. I love I know the word's mechanics, but he doesn't know the word gear? Why? Oh, it is selected. Yeah, you're a cat. You don't really, you can't really select more than one thing at once. I got the purse, only because I'm the best. Around! Not gonna sing the rest of that, because copyright. No, Gabe, you're not supposed Lame. to set the carrot on fire. <laughs> I wanted to do it. What do you have? No. Don't. Really? You're gonna Why are you trying to kill the carrot man? Why wouldn't I? What's next? You gonna try to fucking draw on the carrot man? <laughs> <sighs> I am sad I suggested that. I can't read it, because I can't read it. Hey, Fran. Hey, Fran. Gabe. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop it. You will not set Fran on fire. I'm having fun. You, you can like exterminate this? them with the exterminator card? Exactly, you figured it out. Stop trying to burn things, you fucking arso! Arso? Yeah, arso is the arso. <laughs> I want a flaming... No. I want a flaming knife. Stop it. Just do it your Friend, my dear, I got the purse. That's amazing, you're the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show the sir who is attacking my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human you is. Literally well, I showed really him hope everything he does. except the picture, and you killed me inside. Well, yeah, that's because I wasn't trying to do anything correctly. I was oh, trying no? to see if there'd be any happy? Better. Ah, Ranma, Paskin, Otao. No. Huh? Where are you taking me, sir, vegetable? Okay. They want to help you, Fran. Oh, they want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Ook, Runma, Ippo! Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. Galampa! Wait. Galamp- No. Fuck, hold on. Galampa. 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 We left her clothes. She'll get better clothes. Black She's going huggers. to be naked. With a black jacket. Huggers. Chapter 3, Vegetable State. Vegetative State. Yeah. I know what happens. I do like the music in this place, even though this is my least favorite part of the game. Eatman, Bal, Menkeist, Beh, Ziar, Nihalu, Onam. Ishmael, Iptem, Gorska. Imetin Ulfrio. How dare you? 
I want him to do them. Gorska, Z R O. Welcome, my creature. My name is Zia. Do you speak human? Oh my good. Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. My good friend Orion told me you s you showed him an illustration. What with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yes, let me explain it to you. Oh, no need to speak, my child. The sea will show me everything. Item monarchist ecto. Ecto bro. Ecto pro Ecto bro. Come on, bro. Ecto bro. Dick. Let me see. You're good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Persona, 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 Shut persona. Up. <laughs> Very common of the bow family tree. Ah, uh, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. You can what see all that? What tell me? Be quiet. I see something else. The sea doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody, nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean I love by except for one? I now your little picture is your tree face. It's not even human friend anymore. Your little yep. icon when you're talking is tree friend. It's great. Yep. You're not supposed to be here, Fran. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now, it's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way, am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree, I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't think you know anything, do you? Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. Okay, but what happens if you can still... Shit. What happens if you can still feel love and your body stops walking? What happens then? What do you call that? You're still alive! You just can't walk now. Also, aromantics probably hate this game. Okay. Then I'm not dead. You have to get me back home. Little cat, come closer and let me see you. What is your name? Uh, my name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. <laughs> For pussy. <laughs> Do you oh, think Fran should go back and home? And then he high fives little carrot man. <laughs> yep. Yes I, yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home, I implore you. How fucking suave is this cat that he's like, implore mechanics? It's a cat! Yeah, a good thing I chose that voice for him. Uh, I have a question. Are you the king? Haha, <laughs> you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ethersta. Yeah. I wonder That's... where I've heard that before. Yeah. I didn't tell you what it was. I just wanted to see how you pronounce it. So I pronounced it correctly? Yeah. Thirsty. Okay. Thirsty. Whatever. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. Look at little tree Fran's face in the text thing. It's so yep. cute. King sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of you? Why is this need of yours? Okay. Why is this need of yours go to go home so great? The sea told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir, but the most important is my aunt. She'll protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to, I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take... Oh. 
That would take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where's the store, sir? Though I don't think you can really walk very far with your stubby little tree legs. <laughs> what? Burn! We'll burn talk again. about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir. That would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You're about to be my, one of my favorite characters in this game, by the way. And by great wizard, do you mean a guy in a top hat who runs around and kind of looks like he's from Mexico on, like, uh, on uh, October 30th? 31st? November 1st? November 1st. Yeah, that's what I mean. You will see. But we'll talk more about them. Yeah, I read that. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. We can bullshit our way through it. Oh my god, it's not fruit, it's phlegm. Oh my god, gross. Your ears and tongue will be able to now be able to understand, but not your eyes. This means you won't be able to read. Did we just lose the ability to read? No, we can't read their language. We can still read AKA language, we can't read can... AKA we can't be able to read that book that we have, which would be cheating. Well, I mean, okay, we need to go to the Great Wizard and have language, him translate. No, it's in not. This it's know. in this language. It wasn't here that we got it. It doesn't matter. You don't know if it's in this language. It's check. in this language. The kitty doesn't know check. it, and it's not freaking Russian. The kitty doesn't know English. He can't yes, read. Does. He's a cat. He seemed to know that it was in weird language. That's what he said. Whatever. Go. Excuse me. Do you know? Do you understand? Oh, that's yours. Excuse me, do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do, and you sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you Did you understand, my kitty? I didn't. That's, that's Your funny. highness, I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sounds. You'll see everything as your own world very soon enough, no doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? Yes. Uh, I mean, it depends on the height. Well, it depends on the height. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Do you see what I'm seeing? <laughs> that is nightmare fuel. <laughs> this whole game is nightmare fuel. What the you fuck? You watched your parents get murdered at the beginning of the game with some of the most grotesque imagery and this bug walking on two legs is what scares you? It were my parents. <laughs> well, damn! Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs, everything will be clear. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. Eh. <laughs> uh. Bad touch, bad touch, bad touch! Here's my second favorite character in this game. Oh my god, so this is gonna be like the beginning of Skyward Sword. What? Nothing. Oh hey, it's yes. the Mighty Windfish. How do you think you pronounce that, game? Good day, my name is Paltra Palantras, and I'm your no, doctor today. That is, it's Palantras. Palantras. And I'm your doctor today, at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing! Um, what a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing! Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, it's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand this all... about all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. Fran, Fran. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I've been saying it as Mr. Midnight says it, so I got it wrong. The king sent me. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human! I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs, but we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. Does that make Fran beauty? No. Well, you said it, not me. That's insulting. She's not gonna bitch. fuck him. Did, Look at that pink water, so fucking pretty. Did we just get put into a lake of strawberry lemonade? No. 
Why are we in strawberry lemonade? It's not strawberry lemonade. You'll see it what it is. It looks like strawberry is. lemonade. And it'll, it's kind of weird once you find out what it actually is. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Velocus. Velocus? I was right. Velocus mm -hmm. created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. And by purest water, I mean uh, it's actually my parents' urine. Oh wow, that sounds amazing! Who's the great Velocus? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, so one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken, he was all alone. But he came to Ethersta, and his blood made this water pink. That is so why it's so pure. So basically, you're in a lake of his blood and water. It's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about the other realities. It sounds grand that I'm bathing in blood. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's really pretty, though. I would bathe in that shit. That's the fucking prettiest pink and color of it. how is it that you're here? What brought you to Thersta? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The be that big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would want to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about it, but Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed, but you wanted to keep being Fran. Fran. You wanted to keep your life, so you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It was actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chat. Wait, chrysalis? Chrysalis. Chrysalis, whatever. Chrysalis is a... Yeah, never mind. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow, but... Palantra, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing? I see. Well, when you traveled through the Thersta, you opened a door between your reality and ours. And with the store opened, unexpected creatures can enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there's only one way... And there's only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. We call him Satan. He has a name. You'll find out eventually. We call him Satan, or at least the player does. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you're so nice and you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Mm, yes, Doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. How do you feel, Fran from Etherista? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you you... you that. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, Doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've ever had. You're fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dearn, but he was an evil old man. An evil old man, hmm? I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now, and I'll leave you at the station. She's a really cute tree. She is. And it's still weird that she's naked. She's a tree, though. It doesn't... She doesn't have human anatomy. She's literally Here... just a brain at this point. Here we are again. Show Ziara the king what a nice Ethersian you've become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty sometime. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. I Goodbye. Love He's so adorable. So flippin' nice. Mm -hmm. Ah, you fluffy kitty. Oh, do you like that? Huh? <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> the fucking king like Ron, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How gritty. Oh, let me see you. What a great Athirstian you've become. If thirsty and knees. That's stupid. 
Thank you, King. <laughs> King Sir. Why? Because she's I stare very at formal. It. She calls everybody sir, even if they're a woman. It reminds me of something. I'll explain later. Thank you, Ki King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He had magic with water. Made magic with water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Poantris will be fine. I know the reasons. We have problems to solve, but there's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one to be able to bring your human body back. And he has stories that can open the door that will... Stones. Right. Mm -hmm. Misread that. Stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where's the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. Ah, uh -huh, you haven't even gotten outside the castle. You already want to know everything? That's the passion I was talking about. How patience, Fran. The great wizard lives in the mount great mountain called Trump. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the great wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a great wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones and open that door. I see, so the stones are like keys, and where's the mountain you mentioned? You'll have to stick around, ask around, follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great thir- Uh... He's here to pick up the Hi? Game. He's here to pick up the game. <laughs> Oh. Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature kitty? That's Polantris. He fixed me. Yes, it's certainly fluffy. Oh, I totally forgot. Here's your purse. Oh, thank you, kitty. Do you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Um, well, we have to other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain, too. Yes, Mount Kotrim. The great wizard lives there. Let's go. So? Mm. Try to read that book. Sorry. That was disturbing. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected, I find... Found what my senses we should can take show me. I found the truth. There's quite a bit of this. They're always silently in the unknown. Leon Castillo. Castillo? Castillo. One of the thousand. Like that. July Castillo. 11th, 1908. His name has a... My name is Leon. I am currently 92 years old, living alone in a little house far away from the city. I had, I have to admit, I was never fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I was always asked. To... I was always talked to. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even thought I never got a response. Even though I never got a response, I never quit. That sentence doesn't sound right. I kept reading it, I'm like, it's not right, somehow. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you're looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. I want to read the next page. Okay. December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Can you see? So those messages we've been reading before were his messages. Cry because it hurts. December 19th, 1875. I had a vision. I'm still breathing. What? I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness Remor. from the fifth. Remor, Prince of Darkness from the fifth reality. It talked to me, playing with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom. Inside my head. January 13th, 1876. I can see myself around. The other me tells me lies. Talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, kill yourself. And I have tried, hypnotized by his words, but there is always something saving me at the end. 
It must be the love to live. January 15th, 1876. I meet a shadow for the first time it talked to me. Kamalas. Kamalas? Kamalas. Their race is called the Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies and said, We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining and it started walking away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. Okay, that's good to know. And that's why I couldn't January follow us. 16, Wait, take 1876. a step back. Cass, mm -hmm. that's why I couldn't follow us through the sewers, because there was water. Yeah. January 16th, 1876. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing, and after a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. We've seen those beings before, in the forest. Mm -hmm. Remember? When it was... Yeah, I remember. Yeah. It felt it like felt the like bright creature... Bitch, this is still mine. <clears throat> Excuse me. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. If there still waits. All the locusts must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. Okay, so keep in mind that key shape. February 2nd, 1876. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Remor from the fifth reality. Remor from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Therista may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Vlokas invitation. Since I saw the Vlokas, I keep seeing diagrams spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. March 13th, 1876. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things that I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most people. I wish I could find a friend just like me. Because he's my son, he thinks I'm insane. July 25th, 1876. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes very, becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply a reality laws because they are not only laws but also behaviors, chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. November 11th, 1876. Last night after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as a... Platelet, letta, plate, plate letta, platelets, platelets, and white blood cells, but at a very high speed. November twenty second, eighteen seventy six. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Ripped page, ripped page, ripped page, ripped page, ripped page. Beings in Ethereum start varied from roots to giant insects. Brutes are the first of this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. The Great Balakas oh. is the beginning of the first reality. I like how you're just reading my thing. Because it's not your thing anymore. It's not, it's not like actual diary entries anymore. Okay, I see how it is. Fine, read it. No, it's fine. You, you want it, you want it. <laughs> the Great Balakas is, is the beginning of the first reality primeval light. 
Velakis shield. The Velakis' body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of photons and sound waves. They're also both male and female. When the youngster reach age 2,990,792,459, they are crowned with the shield. Also, there's their alphabet. Ziar, accretion of the great Velakis, king of Etherista, second reality life. February 13th, 1877. Oh, really? No I more thought, diary entries. I said I thought. Being in Etherista feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the trees and the water whispers its freedom while you drink it. It's wisdom. The fuck? I, I don't know why I misread that. You wanna do this? Let's just go page Pandora, by page. Pandora, creation of the five realms of essential existence. Free, resides in the human world. Third reality, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. Consciousness, practice of will. You wanna read the next one? Center... Centericity? I don't know, centericity? The end of the vibration. When both ends of, op of opposites are the same degree, resides in third and fourth reality. Death. Mabuka is the end of light. March 25th, 1877. Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den and, and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love is everywhere and is everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. No data recorded. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den, and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had become friends with them, or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filaments. That's why they look like they are growing in hair, and that big face is mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. October 2nd, 1878. Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's a creative force, and with creative evolution is inevitable. That's it. What, That's the what is this? The drawing to the left looks like an antenna. What? Yeah, the drawing on the left. Oh, someone ripped off the rest of the book. I'll never know what happened to Mr. Leon. Never say never. By the way, go back. Oh, okay. You told me that we have to find Mount Kotrim in the Great Wizard. Should we cut it here? Because it took so long to read all that book. Sure. <laughs> Guys, next time on Let's Play, I was at Undertale. Books. Fran Bo. Says you. I can do whatever I want. I can open that book and read the entire thing again over and over and over again for the next three episodes. You can't but stop you me, Cassie. But you won't do that because then nobody will watch your videos. No one watches anyway. I mean. I win. Bye!